Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Hummingbird Tarot, and this is a video response to Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell so you know when I post new videos. I'll be posting weekly videos every Monday. And I am going to share with you the top decks that I use, the top five decks that I use for 2010 through 2019. I, am, I have a combination of tarot and oracle decks that I have one oracle deck and the rest are tarot. There are a lot of decks I used during that time, but these are the decks that I used the most. One that I used to use a lot more is the Book of Shadows tarot, and this was the first deck that I really felt like was my soulmate deck. And there was something about this deck that from the second I saw it, uh, here's what what the back looks like. I just was really drawn to it and I bought it in, in a deck by itself. I have since, um, there's actually two decks, it's part of a set. There's the As Above deck which is different than this one and this is considered the So Below. So As Above, So Below, it's a two deck kit that you can get, it's a bigger box but I bought this one first and I absolutely love it. Let me just show you some of the, the cards here. So this is a modern take on it feels very, very much Rider Waite Smith base. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll see that I'm very drawn to Rider Waite Smith. This deck just feels very magical to me. And it's also very inclusive. It looks a lot more like the uh, people that are in my life rather than some of these other decks that, you know, some of the more traditional decks don't have as much diversity in them. But I also like all the little fairies and, and things that are added in these decks. It, it really draws me in. And now that I have it out and I've taken a look at it again, I'll probably start using it a little bit more. Another deck, and I actually have two versions of this deck that I use quite a bit, um, is the Radiant Rider Waite Smith. Uh, I know it's a little boring, a little traditional. Keep the bigger version at home in a, in a silk bag and I, I like the colors in this one. I feel like I know it really well. It's very clear, the answers to me. It's a very easy deck, very comforting, very clear. There's never any question about what they're trying to say. So I love that. Oh, I love that card too. Make a wish. These last two are tarot decks and then I have an oracle deck that I want to talk about. They have, one's a recent addition just from the past year, but because of how much I've used it over this past year since I, I got it, I know it's gonna be around for a while. I felt like I wanted to mention it. This one is the Everyday Tarot from Bridget Esselmont. She has the uh, Biddy Tarot website. Here's what the back of the cards look like. And this one, I love the size of it, how soft the cards feel in my hand. It's very Rider Waite Smith based also. And I find, even though the images are fewer here, that I really like how clear it is. And some of these decks are repeating from my top five from the past year. They just, They've become classic decks for me already. And the Everyday Witch deck, I can't, I can't, I just, I use this one year round. I love this deck. It's very fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's almost like having a girlfriend over and having her tell you in her very casual way and very to the point exactly what you need to hear and she might have a little smirk when she's telling you but you get the point and you know she cares about you i really appreciate this deck and i use this deck a lot a lot for myself and when i'm doing readings for others as well the one oracle deck that i wanted to th throw in here that i've used more than any others is the Sacred Traveler. And this one's, it's only been out for a couple years, but it's kind of taken over for all of my other Oracle decks. I use this one more than any others. I just love the images. They're beautiful, very kind messages. They work great in doing readings for others. 
I really appreciate being able to give people messages in a softer, this one keeps coming up, answering the call, there it is. Being able to give people answers to their questions in a very soft and kind way, but still in a way that makes it very clear what the message is that's being given. Thank you for, for joining me. These are my decks from 2010 to 2019, the most used decks, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next decade.